Welcome back to another episode of Hobby Adventures. Today we are going to execute a factory reset here with that Ecos 2. Couple of reasons why you want to do a factory reset. The one, which is I hope not the main reason why you're doing it because this system is fantastic, is that you decided to sell it and obviously you want to clean out the the ECOS or so that when you hand it over, it is a clean slate. The second reason is just in case if something happens and your ECOS is acting a little strange and you just want to reset everything. In my case, it is number two. The ECOS is acting up a little bit. So what I am going to do is do a factory reset and start fresh again. Now you're thinking to yourself, oh no, but my local list and my mapping. Well, hopefully you guys did backups for your ECOS. If you want to learn more about how to do backups with the ECOS, click right here on the link and I will show you how. So going on with doing a factory reset, what you want to do is open up your web browser and then you want to type in the IP address to the ECOS. I already have it saved. And then you're going to see a whole bunch of stuff here along the side. And the one that we're going to look at is reset device to factory settings. Click on that. Now, before we go on, I am going to do a little bit of a disclaimer from my end. This is just showing you on how I'm doing the factory reset. Guys, if you do this on your own, remember you were doing it at your own risk. You are deciding to do a factory reset. Therefore, I am not held accountable if something does go wrong. If you do not feel comfortable about doing this factory reset, go online, find a ECOS dealer, ask and see if they go ahead and do these kind of things. Now, as we see here, all your saved data will be removed. Only your network settings and calibration data will be kept. All right, so we're gonna do that and let's hit the reset button. Reset ECOS, yes, sir. Now that we did a factory reset, everything ended up being in German. Now, don't get too excited, don't get too scared. I am going to show you how to change the language. All right, so go up to the settings, red screen with the spanner. Make sure you are on setup one and then the first tab on the right. And then down over here, it says language. You see Dutch, switch it over to English. Okay, let's hit save, hit the check mark. Go back in here. Everything looks to be in order. Let's go back over here, hit reset ECOS. Let it do its thing. Bam! Okay, let's do that. Everything is in English, sweet deal. Let's go ahead, reinstall or do the backup on the ECOS. Here, so we're back here on our web browser. We can go ahead, hit the refresh and you can see everything has come up now. So now we are hardware two, software 4.0.2. Yes, I know I am four firmware versions behind. That's only because I run TouchCab, which is an awesome program, but they haven't caught up with the updates for the firmwares. But anyways, that's for another story. So let's go over to restore configuration. Over here, it's gonna ask you to choose a file. So let's go ahead and choose the file it will be under my desktop right here choose ecos2 backup 402 the current configuration will be overwritten let's cross our fingers and hit send at this point i can't really show you the screen on my computer once it's done we're going to check it out and see if it actually worked let's just open up the um, the web browser and see if how it works all right so far so good power is on Power is off, power is on. My DDAX40 just powered up. So far, so good. Um, okay, let's just go ahead and check things around. Select, yeah. This should be okay. There it is, the constants. That was for the, um, actually linking these two together, the PC, the Penn Central, and the Canadian Pacific together. And uh, looks like I'm gonna be running out of power soon. It's okay. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, da, da, da. Nope. Looks like it was 6,900. Okay, let's go back here. Let's go back on there. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but yep. 
Okay, looks so far it's good. Okay, let's go to the mapping. Oh, okay, so I was behind. See, that's what happens when you don't back up your system. So now I have to go back and redo everything. But all right, so that is how you do a factory reset with the ECOS 2 and upload the backup that you hopefully did with the ECOS before you went ahead and did the factory reset. Now, if you do a backup while the ECOS is having its problem, now I don't know, possibly there might be a chance where you might carry on the issue. Hopefully you were doing your backups. I'm gonna have to go redo some of my stuff, create a backup, and there we go. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, keep on modeling. BAM! As you can see, it was a successful restart. Sweet deal. Everything came up against German again? What the? Apparently not. It wasn't successful. Let's do this again. Ah, that's why. Because I didn't hit save. Okay.